Okay, Mom, tell us about this one. That's our dear little bundle of joy, Robert W. Firth. Robert William Firth. And I think that was it, following his first bath. This is one of our first pictures of Bob taken in our living room. There he is, all washed, ready to go. Looks kind of tired. Getting ready for the wide, wide world. Taking a snooze at about a month and a half old. It's from uh, Mayfair Market in Fresno. You want a baby shower? Yeah, it's all on. It's a pretty dress you had on. Is it recording? Yeah. Oh, this is Bob's baby shower from that. You took those home with you if you still have them. It's a bitsy shoes, that's for sure. I saved those. About nine months. It looks like I was always into television. I don't think that's a Sony, I think it's a Dumont. That's what they looked like back then. Nine months old. There I am mounting my stud. Nine months old. Evidently, I liked sitting in boxes in the kitchen as well as in the living room. There's yeah. a picture of Grandpa and Grandma came down from Oakland to see our new arrival. Grandpa and Grandpa first. This is their only picture of both sets of grandparents that came down to see Bob when he was first born. And that's uh, Peter, Al uh, Peter Allen Peterson, Marie Peterson, Sadie Firth, and Alan Firth. And let's not forget Robert W. Firth. Yeah, Robert W. Firth. There's Grandpa and Grandma Firth with Bob at one month. That's your grandfather and grandmother, uh, Peter Andrew Peterson, Marie Peterson, and it's her sister and her husband from Iowa. I was riding uh, horses. I must like horses. Then. That's Trigger. Is it that some store? <laughs> Pretty intent there. That's his first birthday. Looks like I uh, like to watch the uh, birds fly around. <laughs> There's my first Christmas. Get the Santa Claus. Not a very good picture. Well, this is another one of my first. I look a little apprehensive there. Getting my first. Haircut. There it looks like I'm enjoying the haircut a bit more. This was definitely an occasion. <laughs> That's there. Made it through that ordeal. Well now that we're through some of the baby pictures, we look at where we came from. That's mama. That's Grandma and Dad taken in front of their home in Oakland on Coolidge Avenue. That's Mom and Dad at, I think it's Bryce Canyon. That's Aunt Esther and Uncle Harold and Christine. That was her christening. It looks like everybody's dressed to kill. the house where this is all happening. This is a, our first house when we got married and before the lawn and everything was in. That's mom and dad and Esther and Harold and Christine that said her christening. We were her godparents. That's grandpa and grandma Peterson, mom, Esther and Harold and Christine at her christening. Speaking of the Espiches. That's Christine, Francie and Barbara. Here's the Espiches again, having dinner at the Firths. 
Look at oh. that snazzy new ride. Yeah, that's our new car. We took a drive up to Bass Lake. What is it? It's a Ford convertible. Oh, I love that car. That's Mom on the Hanging Bridge in Yosemite Valley. Oh, there's our, there's our string of fish we caught on the Snake River at below the Tetons. There's Mom, Blanche, Grandpa and Grandma Firth, and Sherry and William. Not William. No, not William. Uh, Mike. Mike. <laughs> There's Chuck and Blanche, Mike and Sherry, 1949, that's Mike, Mike Firth. Who says parents can't have fun? <laughs> Having a water fight in the backyard. There's Sadie and Alan Firth, grandparents with a friend. There's the only other picture of my grandparents all together with me when I was a little itty bitty kid. It's been the Christmas of 1950 or so. Where were these taken? They're taken in the living room at uh 1335 Estraway in Fresno. I mean, they're taken at this house. Where's this? It's up at Hidden Christmas Resort up in northern Minnesota. You were two and a half years old. Another picture. What was that? That's your first airplane ride when we were going to Disneyland. Oh, there I am getting ready to get on the old helicopter there. Going from LAX to Disneyland. Uh, no trip to Disneyland is complete without a visit with your favorite space people. This is my first driving. Too bad not all cars have bumpers all the way around them. with dad on my first day of school. 1960? This was in front of our house at 530 Sandberg Drive in Sacramento. These pictures were taken a year or so beforehand. Now there Russ can see that I had a burr too when I was about his age at the same time. <laughs> See how <laughs> wide I can smile. <laughs> uh, pretty bizarre looking tiger there. Where's that at? It's taken to Sue and Jack's house. That's what they had the little red baby. Okay, where was this? This is your mother and dad at a uh, little cabin that we stayed at, at the north end of Lake Tahoe. What's uh, this? It's up in Washington, so Washington or Oregon. It's the Rose Gardens. It's Bob and Bob in the Rose Garden up in Washington or Oregon. I don't know which one in the little one. Two old faithfuls. This, this is a hodgepodge of different pictures, so it's going to go from different times. This is about 51. That's Mom at Hoover Dam. Grandpa, Grandma Firth, and Helen in Oakland. Here's my grandma and grandpa and dad in about 1950. Yeah. We hadn't even painted our house. It had to be shortly after we moved in because the walls weren't even painted. This was what, your first car? Yeah. That's that was Marilyn in front? Yeah, that's Studebaker. When's this? Where's this? That's when we got our new little convertible. We're up in Bass Lake? Yeah. 
That had to be when we first moved into our house because look at we had the old couch. There's Aunt Mame, a friend, and Helen Nance. That's Bryce Canyon. I never can think whether Bryce Canyon is the one with the needly rocks or that's taken in Grandma's backyard with a friend. Oh, to be in love. Take it in Oakland. Milk Janet. <laughs> That's what I asked. What is that? <laughs> Where was that taken? It's up by the Columbia Gorge. He's Who's that? Who's that? Uncle Tony. Tony Sousa. And uh, he was a big uh, wheat farmer in Merced. There's Robert in his doe skin coat. Where's that? Taking on one of our trips. Eat car. What? Where's that? That's your dad in the, in the house. It's about the time we got married. Shortly after we got married. Is dad in front of Old Faithful? This is Bob at Yankee Stadium, and uh, it was on his company trip. Back in '48. Yeah. Boy, now that's what I call glamour. <laughs> that's Dad with his beautiful rainbow trout that we caught in the Snake River below the Tetons. Was he about we 28 ate, then? We ate it for dinner that night, too. There we are back at Bass Lake with our brand new convertible. There's Dad resting at Hoover Dam. That's going into Bryce Canyon. Back to the fishing pictures. That's a little bit bigger fish. Yeah, that's a sucker fish, so that's not the kind you eat. That's a sundial, and I can't remember where that's taken, but I think it's at either Bryce or Zion Canyon. Uh, There's electric? Well, it's got batteries in it that we had, we played with cars and water pistols and that's There's that Christmas. That's Christmas. That's Grandpa and Grandma Firth and Mom. That's Christmas dinner at the Firths. About 1950. That's Uncle Arnold and Martha from Nebraska. He was a train conductor on the Southern Pacific passenger train cross country. Is that from off to right? That's uh, Nelson Martha. That's mother's only brother, living brother, and grandpa and grandma. Who's that now? That's Edna and Aunt, my sister Edna and Alice. Uh, I made a trip from Iowa to California. And Dad. Who's that? That's my mom, uh, Alice, it, my sister Edna, and, and Dad. That's Uncle Bill and Nina. That's Roger and Diana. Well, their name is Heck and Kemper, but they were uh, Jack Nance's children. That's Esther and Harold and Barbara, Francie, and Chris. That's, that's it. My sis S and myself. Grandma Firth. There I am in yeah. Iowa or someplace? Yeah, at Uncle Al's ranch in Iowa. There's mom sitting on her new couch.
Now the picture is, where's that at? That's in Fresno. That's mom in the living room in Fresno. That's, that's the Presbyterian church in Reno, Nevada, where mom and dad got married. That's another picture of the church Bob and I got married in December 29th or 30th in 1949. These are all pictures from when we lived at 570 Sandburg Drive in Sacramento. Most of these shots are all shot out by the pool. So the little uh, pool house where we had the pump house, I guess, where all the filter and stuff was. There I am diving into the pool. Action photography. Here's right before I dove into the pool. There we are sitting by the pool. It's probably, what, 1963, somewhere in there. Tahiti bound. Yeah, we had it all decorated in different travel posters. Is There's that... Jock up in the uh, fort that I had, treehouse, on stilts. We are all out by the pool. Another We're shot of the treehouse. There was some large pine tree right next to it. Gives you an idea how vast the backyard was. All sorts of different trees and stuff. This is uh, where the saying, if I can start to hear the grass grow, it's time to move. I think we moved into a trailer after this house. Didn't have much grass then. Okay, There's another yeah. picture of Dad. I guess I was the strong boy there. Charles Atlas. What's going on? It looks like somebody's washing Jackie's us. Jackie's on the tube. On the tube, is that it? Is that 14 years old. He just died. Heart attack? Old age. Old age, I guess. There's our swimmer again. This is in Iowa, out on the farm. A ride. Who's that? That's Uncle Al. It's taking you for a tractor ride. Uh -huh. A tractor ride with Uncle Al. What was that? That's Al and Eva and all their kids. Who are the kids? Out on the farm. Who are the kids? Donnie and I don't know what the names of them all are. It's all the pigs out on the farm out here. There's a farm where up in Wisconsin? No, that's back in Iowa. That's a nice Iowa farm. Don't you want me to? Picture of the farm. Oh, what's this? Catholic religious shrine. It's called the Grotto back in Iowa. And this man spent a good part of his life building all these uh, stations of the uh, cross and everything out of rocks that he collected worldwide. Who's this? That's uh, myself and uh, my youngest, our oldest brother, uh, Harvey, and his wife. Uh, that's the Harvey Peterson clan. Judy, Joan, Jack, Jeff, Jerry, Jim, and Bob. There's Nana. That's Nana and some friends at Lake Tahoe getting ready to watch the boat races. That's our first new car. And we just finished coming across the desert into Las Vegas, and it was 114. Look at the cooler on the car and the one in the window. Really hot. There's some pictures of another that was car. A miniature horse farm in Iowa. Whose is that car? That's our Studebaker Golden Hawk. Isn't that a beauty? <laughs> That's Bob on this swinging bridge in Yosemite Valley. That's Bob with his new little car. We were taking a long trip to yeah, Zion. And Grandpa. It's Grandpa. It's a picture of the flamingo again. That's what it looked like 40 years ago. That's Marilyn. That's Chuck's stereo that he built in the cabinet. A little different from today. 
There's pretty modern stereo equipment there. There's, there's a valley. Let's go over right down. And that's the inside of the house. That's where Grandma first. This is Main Street in Shadron, Nebraska, where Grandma. Grandpa was born. That's the water tower in Minnesota. That's the capital of Salt Lake City. And Bob. Who's that? Uncle Ernest. And Alice. And, and Bob. Bob. His aunt and uncle in Chadron, Nebraska. That's me sitting in the back of a friend's backyard. That's Sherry. Sherry and Mike. And Mike of Christmas. That's our next door neighbor, B. Chavez, and her grandson. Hate sucker fishes. Sucker fishes, yeah. That's the sucker. That's Grandma Peterson's brother and his wife and uh, their son Donald. That's Auntie Mame and uh, a friend of hers and Helen in Merced, California. There's Coit Tower in the 60s. It hasn't changed much. There's another picture of Coit Tower in the, again in the 1960s. There's some ponies from somewhere. Where were those at? It was some pony ranch that we went to where the man raised ponies for a ranch. What's that now? That's a miniature horse ranch. It's not a pony, but a, they breed the horses down in size. It looks like a pony. It's a horse, though. I think the... Uh, That's uh, Ray and Marilyn getting married in our backyard. About 1963. <laughs> this is the monorail in Disneyland in about 1963 or so. And there's the helicopter that flew from LAX to Disneyland. This must have been in Orange County. It's a picture of Mount Rushmore in South Dakota. Except I think I've got it in backwards. <laughs> there's Mount Rushmore the right way. It's in right now. <laughs> There's a little bit back, backed up view of Mount Rushmore. There we go, a picture of all the places that you must have gone on that trip, what, in 52 or so? Yeah. There's Aunt Janet and Uncle Milt. That's Janet and Milt's wedding. 1948. That's Sue and Jack Sailor and Little Rod. They were friends. In Zion National. Yeah, Zion National Park. They call that the Mini Grand Canyon part of it. It's a river down there. And that's our little first little house before it even had a lawn or anything in it. In Fresno. It's Grandma Peterson and her brother, Nels, visiting from Iowa. That's, Bar that's Barbara and Francie, yes, bitch. Zone National Park. That's Helen in front of Zion Park that was on our big trip. There's the North Entrance Motel. Where is that motel famous for, Mom? That's, we, that's the motel we stayed in when we went to Reno and got married. It's the New America Motor Lodge. What, the Continental Divide? Yeah. Oops. That's in the cookies. snow. That's the snow up at uh, Yosemite Valley. Where is that? That's at Lake Tahoe. Uh, it's me and a friend. That's Bob and his brother, Milt. <laughs> That's Uncle Milton Janet's wedding with her mother, Mrs. Anglin. Who's Uncle Milton? That's Milton and Janet's cutting their wedding cake. Grandpa Firth and uh, he. Grandma's brother, uh, Arnold, from Shadron, Minnes uh, Shadron. That's Chuck and Blanche with Sherry and Mike. It's the one that painted the picture. 
that's Bob and uh, my sister Edna Hansen mm-hmm. from on a trip from uh, Minnesota. This is one. That's Grandpa and Grandma Peterson and Edna, their oldest daughter, with her daughter Alice and myself. Uh, How do you know a bunch about this? Just a deer in an animal park. Let's see if those are easy. From the park. There's a line from the park. That's the black bear. <clears throat> It's a herd of buffalo. Water buffalo. Not water buffalo. Just buffalo buffalo. That one? Well, I guess it was buffalo. A buffalo. It's a buffalo. Hmm. A new? A new? It's something else, that's for sure. Is that, a, is that a bear? There's a bear that's showing a bear. off. That's short. There's some fake elephants. These aren't fake, they're real elephants. No, they're so not. They're, there was a picture. Are they this is a uh, sales trip dad went on when he worked for Brunswick Drug Company. <laughs> Here they are at Yankee Stadium. Yay! It's a train. There's the train they came cross country on. There's the bus that they got on, a modern bus I want you to know. Trailways. Yeah. There they are getting on another bus going through another factory. There they are getting on the Pullman train. Pullman yeah. car anyway. Johnson & Johnson Company in 1948. It's a pretty modern building given the time. It looks to be a close-up of that same building. Here's a bunch of uh, Dad's friends in a double exposure at the ball game. There's a picture of Gra- Grandpa, or Bob Firth Sr. with a bunch of his friends Touring the plant. Second from the right. There's another picture of Dad, second from the left. Notice how the suits styles haven't changed much, still wearing double breasted suits. Dad and I got married. This is where you worked? Yeah, Regal's drug. So then you That's said these are. man Regal. He's a drunk. <laughs> Same drugstore? No, it's a different drugstore, but it's a. He's not a pharmacist, he's a. a drug salesman like Bob was. There's a type typewriter that they used to write the uh, labels on the prescriptions on. A little far cry from the computers they use today, huh, Russell? Just another drug store. It's kind of interesting looking how things are laid out. Another store. Yep. Drug stores seem to look the same even though they're Forty years ago, pretty much the same as they are today. Look at that modern telephone there on the corner. It must have weighed 500 pounds. There's a cosmetic department in a drugstore. Drugstores used to be a lot bigger than they are today in a lot of ways. There's Helen and Esther Harold and... Barbara France and Chrissy. That's Mom and Bob on a little footbridge up off of the Columbia Gorge between Washington and Oregon. There's Bob barbecuing steaks in our garage in Fresno. There you are with your new toy, My brand new, new vacuum cleaner. Modern style. <laughs> That's the first clan at one of our Christmases. 1950? About 1950. There's Sherry, uh, Milton, Chuck, Grandma Firth, Grandpa Firth. Bottom row, left to right is Blanche, uh, Janet, uh, Nina. Nina, and Bill, myself, and little uh, Mike. Mike sitting in front. Just me in the front yard. There's Milton and Janet by their car on a trip down to visit us in Fresno. Tahoe Pine Lodge? Yes, that's where we stayed. The big house there is the main part of it, but they had little cabins there. We stayed there for two weeks. There's the house with grass. And painted. 
That's the Calneva Lodge at the north end of Lake Tahoe. It looks like a ferry bridge going across some river. That's Aunt Martha, myself, and Bob up in the Black Hills in South Dakota. That's Uncle Ernest and Aunt Alice back in Chadron, Nebraska with Mom and Bob. He was sick that day, you know, he has his robe on. There's an appropriate car next to an appropriate sign. It's the Bonneville Salt Flats up in Salt Lake. It's a boat race somewhere. That's Lake Tahoe and uh, Mrs. Kaiser, that was her boat she was racing. There's Mount Shasta Dam. At Redding. Picture of Uncle Chuck's remote control airplane back in the 50s. That was really something then. The reason why, when everybody came to visit, you always had to take a picture of them in front of their car. <laughs> There's Uncle Chuck or Milton? That's Milton. Milton and Dad back in early 50s. That's Emerald Bay at Lake Tahoe. Emerald Bay from a different angle. There it looks blue and it's usually just emerald green, the name of That's the carport that you both built? Yeah. Whose car is that? That's just that young boy that was on that one patio there at Lake Tahoe. It's pretty scenery wherever it is. <laughs> that, that's our friend, Sue Sailor. She took care of Bob when he was a baby. It's the one that had the fancy sports car. I a picture of that already. There's That's Walmart. Wobbles Drugstore. Roger and Helen Swan bought that store. In Sacramento on H Street. Picture of Mom with her Nash Rambler. That's Grandpa and Grandma Peterson. And that's Grandma Peterson's sister and her husband. Uh, Christina and uh, Jens Flant from Iowa. Boy, they look good enough to eat, don't they? That's Milton frying steaks in our garage. That's Chuck and Blanche and Mom and Dad Firth uh, just before Milton's wedding. That's Milton and Janet getting ready to leave on their honeymoon. There's Grandpa Firth taking five. Picture of Marilyn in front of that ever famous Nash Rambler. That's me and Kathy Swan. That's Bob and his mom and dad. That's Roger and Diane, Nance, Heck and Camper, and Aunt Mame from uh, Merced, California. That's Grandpa and Grandma Peterson. There's Barbara and Francie and Chrissy and Debbie and Robert W. Firth on his first birthday. There's Milton and Janet sitting on the front steps at the Oakland. Daddy! <laughs> Is he cute? He's got a, he's got a red stripe. <laughs> That's Chuck and Blanche's house in Oakland. That's Grandpa and Grandma Firth and Mom and Bob. There's Big Bob and Little Bob. <laughs> Mr. Bob and L Big Bob. That was uh, the baby shower from all the kids at Mayfair Markets in uh, Fresno, California. There's camping out on the beach in San Diego. Jacques tied up to the car. I think I slept in the car and couldn't find a hotel room that night, so we slept on the beach. There's Dad. Checked into the motel right across the street the next morning. It's the interest in New Mexico. This was in 1965. There's somebody else sleeping out. Yep, there's down on the beach in San Diego. Well, here we are looking into Tijuana, Mexico from California.
There's another picture looking into Mexico. There we are at the uh, gates going into Mexico down into Tijuana. And then we found Mount Russian going in. There's the a little bit fuller picture of that same scene. Out again. The guard was going to take him away from us. And I says, he says, well, he might be diseased. I says, listen, fella, that dog's a lot cleaner than you are. <laughs> I almost come to blows with it. There's Bob with some natives. Well, there I am. I guess I'm about eight years old at the uh, beach in San Diego. There I am, so, same time, at the beach. There I am watching the waves. It's Mission Day. This is the uh, hotel or motel we stayed at in San Diego. As you can see, we're back down there on the beach. Here we are, down in Mexico, at the High Lie. This is another shot of the highlight building there in Tijuana. Here I am swimming in uh, the bay there. Another picture of the, the motel that we stayed at there on the beach in San Diego. How things have changed. That was an upper class hotel at the time. There's another picture of the beach down there. Here's a picture of SeaWorld down in San Diego. And there's a picture just of the dolphins down there. Here we have a couple of dolphins in midair jumping out of the water. Here we have some more acrobatic uh, dolphins. Here's the dolphins jumping up to get fed. A hydrofoil? It's a hydrofoil boat. first one? What's a hydrofoil boat? It was above the uh, water like that on those little skis. Here's another facility at SeaWorld. That's the back where the boat landed. Yeah. yeah. Here we are at SeaWorld. Sitting down taking a rest. This is the Swiss Family Robinson's Treehouse. Disneyland. In Disneyland. Here's what the rhino chased up the pole in Disneyland on the jungle ride. Here's a shot of Disneyland from the top of the Matterhorn. This is a uh, somebody coming down the Matterhorn. This is going into Tomorrowland in Disneyland. It's a lot different today than it was then. This is the uh, crabs at the uh, bottom of the ocean on the uh, submarine ride. This is Disneyland looking at the monorail and the submarine ride. Again, a little faded out. These are uh, almost 30 years old. This is a slide at the motel pool that we stayed at in Disneyland. This is the airplane going to, uh, going to Disneyland. Some of our own pictures of Disneyland. That's the uh, submarine. submarine ride. This is the Matterhorn in Disneyland. Here's another picture. This is Tomorrowland in Disneyland. It's a little bit different than it, used, than it is now. Here's a picture of the castle, the Magic Kingdom. A marching, here's a marching band in the middle of Main Street. Let's not forget the train. It goes all the way around the park. Here's an Indian scene from the train going across the frontier land. There's Tom Sawyer Island across the way. There's a picture of uh, Matterhorn from uh, Tomorrowland, I believe. There's the uh, little cars there that you can ride. Here we come down the mighty Mississippi in the riverboat. Actually, this is Frontierland in Disneyland. Here's the Indian Village on uh, Tom Sawyer Island. Here's the motor cars. 
here you are, Mom, sitting next to the, uh, what is this, Captain Hook's uh, boat here. Here's the teacups. They're still there. I think this is where uh, we spun it around so much, I think I got sick on this one. Here's going across the uh, tramway from uh, Tomorrowland into uh, Fantasyland. Here's looking down at the uh, teacups from the uh, tramway. And here's a picture of the uh, Captain Hook's ship again from the tram. And here's the House of Tomorrow. What's interesting about the House of Tomorrow is that most of the features in it are in the house that we have today. <laughs> yeah, and here's the sub ride uh, looking down from the uh, tramway again. Took a lot of pictures from the tramway. You can see a lot of Disneyland from there. And here's the rocket ship from the trip to the moon that they had then. Of course, this was long before we actually went to the moon. And here we have a picture of the Matterhorn with the uh, monorail. Now there's been four or five different generations of that mon monorail over the years. Here's a unique shot of Disneyland, one you don't see very often. It's outside the window of the helicopter as we left for Disneyland. Here's another picture of, uh, I think it's a picture of a college again from the helicopter. Here's another picture of Los Angeles from the, uh, air, from the helicopter going into LAX from Disneyland. Shot that's pretty amazing. This is LAX back again in 63. It's uh, changed rather dramatically. Here was the uh, picture of our helicopter that we came in on. Here's out of, totally out of context. These are some falls, I guess, in uh, must be up in Yosemite. That's called the Great White Throne. It's in uh, uh, Bryce Canyon, Zion. Zion. Yeah. These were probably taken 10 or 15 years before the trip to Disneyland. Here's another picture. Where's this up? From Zion. From Zion. Beautiful scenery. This is a meadow. Where? In Yosemite or Zion? Somewhere. I have no idea. Somewhere. <laughs> That's Bryce Canyon. Again, beautiful. Just that jump. was just a road seen close to Zion. It's the side of Redam. It's just a scenic rock formation out on our trip across country. And it's not Colorado, it's down in the Flower beds that were in that area. About these flower beds? Uh, it was just some beautiful flower beds that were at, I believe it was a hospital. You know. It was up in the mountains, pretty snowy pass there. It's an interesting rock formation. That's a rice cabin. Where's that? That's in uh, Yosemite, but it's Bridalville Falls. That's at Bryce Canyon. Both Bryce and Zion were be two beautiful parks. They're quite close together, but very, very different from each other. That's another one from uh, Bryce Canyon. That's a big rock from Zion Park. Yep, there's Old Faithful. There, it was some kind of a record spouting. There's a ranger there that does the measuring of it. Just another That's picture. In the Bryce Sunday. Canyon. This is Bryce too. That's a beautiful Bryce Canyon. It was a. It's a real sandy, a sandstone formation. It's like needles popping out of the ground. It's. Another shot of Old Faithful not shooting up very high. Well, hello, Bear. Just 
the show. He was pretty darn close. Here's just a pretty sunset. Beautiful wildflowers. It's Bryce Canyon. Keeping the scenic pictures. More Bryce Canyon. It's amazing, no matter how many pictures you see of this, they're all beautiful. Here are the Teton Mountains here. Looking out over the head of the car. Zion. It's the Snake River. I'm fishing there. Just looking out over the, uh, over the land. Like we have a thunderstorm coming in. Uh, and yet another interesting rock formation. Beautiful wild lupin. That's a natural arched rock. Very different. That's Zion there. That's a beautiful area over in there. It's called a baby. Grand Canyon, something gorgeous countryside. Here's some building. We're just not exactly sure what it's to out there. It's red. As we bounce around the country, there's a picture of Shasta Dam. It's not Shasta. It's red. It's called the Great White Throne in Zion Park. I don't know, it's just a pretty scenic area. It's in Zion, but I don't know what it's called. It's a great white throne again from a different angle. That's a fish hatchery. I don't remember exactly where it was. It's a trip. There's a train. So this is another series. This must be uh, maybe the Redwoods. Some more scenic shots. It's a commercial flower field. Well, it says it's the world's largest log cabin. It's the forestry building somewhere. I think that's the Rose Garden in Portland. And speaking of Portland, I believe this is Portland. So logs down on the river. A shot. We can zoom in there and look at the logs on the river. Just a little out of focus. There we go. It's a religious shrine, I believe, up in the redwoods above San Francisco. And that's the shots of the Columbia Gorge. Another stream or a waterfall coming up. It was a scenic drive between the, or alongside of the Columbia Gorge uh, that we took, and the countryside was very pretty. It's the Columbia River from the Columbia Gorge. I think. That's the Columbia Gorge. Another picture from that scenic drive on the Columbia Gorge. That's your world famous Yosemite Falls. Um, uh, Earl Faithful is, um, what's that park called? It's a beautiful stretch of uh, canyon that's by Bryce and Zion, and it's called the Mini Grand Canyon. Zion or Yellowstone, or uh, Yosemite. I found another series of pictures. I'm not sure where this is. Obviously, it's some dam. There's a fish ladder, presumably to the same dam, since I think we actually found a series of pictures to look at. We've got the power station. 
Enteric barge. It's one heck of a barge, that's for sure. Looks to be an awful lot of power being generated. Here we have this Mount Shasta. There's another shot of Mount Shasta. Bah! Bah! We have sheep! Buffalo. We've never heard the of buffalo, buffalo rain. That's and some more Bryce Canyon, I believe. In the Black Hills, South Dakota. Now the question is, are these wild mules or are they just mules? There's Mount Rushmore from a distance. Just because I like orange rocks, here's another picture of Rice Canyon. And another. And another. And that's, another. That's an overhanging rock looking straight up. It's where we, we're standing by that sundial. Mara Bryce Canyon. Very, very unusual formation. That's in Zion National Park. Looks like it's been snowing there. It could be Mount Hood. Another pretty sunset. It's Mount Shasta at Redding, California. Well, here's one that seems to be totally out of context. We're taking bets. We think it may be Highway 80 up in Sierra Nevada. And Nevada. since we've found so many of ones out of context, here's Yosemite Falls. Isn't that beautiful. And just to say how messed up this can be, this is the Empire States Building in New York City. Well, since we have lots of pictures of Yosemite, here's another one. This is a whole series we've got. And here's another half dome picture. We seemingly have a lot from this angle. Rocket. Falling down the wayside, I guess. Oh, there's a picture of Yosemite Valley. Valley? Valley. Before pollution. And smog. <laughs> Yeah, it's too bad they have a smog problem in Yosemite Valley now, I guess, because of all the tourists. That's awfully pretty. Yep, there's a little bit more view of the falls. This is Yosemite Falls. Look at this beautiful meadow that's down here. No, not really sure what it is. Obviously, it's coming back, but I thought you might want to take a look at the fancy new cars. Now this is another series that we found. It's probably again of Yosemite. Well, I get this, this is taken a little bit later. You can see a little bit of the smog settling in. Actually, this is probably haze, but this valley can get really smoggy now. Incredible beauties of nature. Well, it's Brattle Belt Falls. I think there's five falls in the park. Well, again, a little out of context. Some sort of mountain goat. Another picture up in the mountains. Not sure exactly which uh, dam this is, but it's a big one. Not sure exactly where this is, but it's obviously in the fall because those trees sure are changing color. Gorge. That looks like another picture of the Columbia River. Hoover Dam over by Las Vegas. That's the power plant looking down at it. It's a people shot. It's Marilyn and Mom. With the uh, Hoover Dam behind them. Oh, well, there's a picture of Mom and Dad at the dam. 
there's looking down from the top of the dam down onto the power plant. And that's looking up from the power plant down or back up to the top of the dam. Yep, there's some power generators. Power generators. Las Vegas. It's the Moulin Rouge. It's a hotel I don't think is there anymore. Here's downtown Las Vegas. Some things are still the same, like the cowboy on the right, but it's a bit different. <laughs> There's the Silver Palace. I don't remember it being there anymore either. Uh, there's a picture of the Riviera at night. It's a little bit... I think there's a few more uh, lights there now. Well, there's the Desert Inn. It was definitely one of the big clubs. Again, it just doesn't quite look the same as it does now. Well, this was the City of Lights, and this was the Dunes. Again, a little bit brighter there now. Well, here's the Flamingo. Of course, you recognize it well. Of course, it's three or four towers. Wait a second. Who took the towers? Well, and here's some of the last of the pictures of people. It's the Cross the Street Neighbors in Fresno. This picture of Dad and Uncle Gents. This is Grandpa First Bergonias in Oakland. This is again it's about the tail end, so a few of these are a little out of context. But we do have a couple pictures of the begonias back to back. I remember seeing this a little earlier. This is the model airplane. This is Mom, Blanche, and Chuck. Chuck. And there's the horse races. Good old Bay Meadows racetrack. Just outside of San Francisco. It's the Dream Motel in Santa Cruz. Yeah. Dad reading the paper. It has the road running through it. Yes, the redwood tree. I don't think you can drive through it anymore. You have to walk through it. I thought it burned down or something. No. Yeah, and somewhat of a sense. fitting way to end this scene is Jacques out on the raft. Be